Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the separately excited DC motor. In the last session, we discussed about the separately excited DC generator. Okay. So, generally, you know, normal motor operation, any DC motor, you should take some electrical input and you should give some mechanical output. So for that purpose, for that purpose, so it will take the electrical input from this side. So this is the electrical input. Electrical input means we are giving supply from here. This is the voltage and it will supply the current to this. Current is IA. And it is required the field for that field purpose we should give a separately excitation it will generate the field and it will produce the flux the flux will flow through the armature and the em and it will be generates the whenever it rotates this is connected to the shaft and it will be rotates if it motor it will do, rotate with the clockwise direction so the mechanical power is developed here understand we are giving electrical supply and we will give the excitation the combination of both motor will rotate motor will rotate now we should give some relation between this supply and back emf and all the currents okay so here just observe here First, we will look at the generally any motor we have some idea that is the input. Whenever we should give the input, we should give the some output with some losses. That means it has some we are giving the electrical power is input. We will it will generate the mechanical power with that it will generate some loss. Okay. So by that any motor itself having a emf is generated that is called as the back emf so how can we call how can we name it the back emf back emf means so for any motor for any motor there is a generator action there is a generator action so whenever the generator action is there then automatically EMF will be generated. That EMF is called as back EMF. Back EMF that will represents with the EB only. So, so we can write this given supply voltage is V. It will generate EB and it will have some armature drop. Finally, we can write like this. That is the supply voltage V equal. It will generate the back EMF at the armature and with that some drop IA RA is the drop okay so and in order to get the power we should multiply with the this thing we should multiply so brush also some drop we can write this is the brush drop we can name it as the brush drop okay so finally if you multiply with the I the output equation will become V into IA and EB into armature current then IA square into RA and brush drop is the voltage it is multiplied with the IA multiplied with the IA so finally we can write like this this V in I we can, I can write it as the electrical power and EB into IA we can name it as the mechanical power and this complete thing I can write it as the loss I can write it as a loss so generally the brush drop is neglected same as generator brush drop is neglected low drop it is the loss also very less loss is also less so that's why it is neglected okay so we can write finally the electrical power is we can give some simply some notation that is electrical power is v into ia and the mechanical power is EB into IA and the loss is the loss is IA square into RA loss is IA square into RA 
so generally this loss we can name it as the copper loss also this is called as the copper loss okay so finally we can write the equation is like like this the equation is i will write modify the equation is like this that is um, i can write finally the equation is in our if you get the mechanical power it should be electrical power with that you should remove the losses you will get the mechanical power so what is the so to get the maximum output to get maximum output in order to get the maximum output same differentiate the mechanical power with respect to the variable thing variable thing is again armature current and equate to zero so what is the mechanical power here the mechanical power is eb into ia and the electrical power is v into ia loss is same ia square into ra okay just multiply with the multiply with this and equate to zero multiply with this so just take it as a mechanical power no problem just take it so d differentiate the mechanical power and equate to zero then you will get differentiate with respect to armature current v into ia minus ia square into ra equal to zero equal to zero then we will get the value this is the v and minus 2 into ia ra why so v is the constant ia become 1 ia square is become 2 ia ra is equals to 0 from this we will get v equal to 2 ia ra so from this we will get armature current equal to v by 2 ra become 2 ra okay so to get this is the condition we can name it as to get maximum mechanical maximum mechanical power develop maximum mechanical power develop so this is the armature current current i can write it as current at not to get current at maximum mechanical power develop that value is armature current equal to v by 2 ra okay from this so from this we can write back emf also so you know eb value we can write like this v minus ia ra how by dividing the back emf from the voltage we will get that value so that is v minus what is ia ia is v by 2 ra that is v by 2 ra into ra so both will be cancel both will be cancel then it become v by 2 v by 2 so this is the at maximum mechanical power develop this is the back emf so this is also back emf at maximum mechanical power develop maximum mechanical power develop so we have two conditions same as a generator first condition is armature current and second condition is v by 2 so we will find out maximum mechanical power developed also generally the mechanical power developed equation is back emf into armature current so back emf value is v by 2 armature current is v by 2 ra v by 2 ra so therefore maximum mechanical power developed equal to v square by 4 ra v square by 4 ra okay so and what is the input we can write it so this is the maximum mechanical power develop 
value and what is the input power power input at maximum mechanical power develop so we can get the power input also so here power input value is generally power input value is we can write voltage into armature current so this is the voltage armature current equal to v by 2 ra we will get v square by 2 ra okay so we can get the efficiency efficiency at the maximum mechanical power develop max mechanical so how we will get the efficiency output by input so output is we are getting v square by 4 ra by v square by 2 ra into 100 so we will get the efficiency is the 50% we will get the efficiency of the 50% so to get the maximum mechanical power of the dc motor efficiency will become the 50% and the input is become v square by 2 ra and the output is become output is become v square by 4 ra and back emf is become voltage by 2 okay so this is about the separately excited dc motor i hope all of you understand the session thank you